What's going on YouTube, Mr. Beantown here, and today I got some Virginia Tech Hokies gameplay for you, going up against the Mississippi State Bulldogs, and uh, look at that, first play of the game, we gotta use our pick with our middle linebacker, great start, first play, we we already take the possession away from my opponent. Uh, my opponent this game, definitely a tough opponent, he knew what he was doing, he ran a lot of uh, those close formations, strong eye close, uh, shotgun snugs, so as always those are very difficult to stop. Look at this, third and seven. We're just looking, looking, scramble without a quarterback. And, oh, fourth and inches. We decide to go for it, run the power row, and number 20 is able to get into the end zone. We take a little bit of a risk right there, considering that we got the turnover. Oh, look at that. And speaking of a turnover, we get our second user pick with our middle linebacker. <laughs> My opponent's thrown two passes, and they were both completed, but unfortunately it was to the wrong team. Oh, and speaking of completing passes to the wrong team, on cue, I uh, blow my chance right there to take a two-possession lead with a forced pass on the slant route. But now my opponent has the ball. Uh, you see here he's running that uh, this strong close and uh, running the, I believe it's bunch trails. Very difficult to stop if you're not uh, if you don't know what's coming. He was definitely mixing in the run very well. Uh, he had a really good linebacker. You can see that he has a star line uh, running back. Apologize. He gives me the double juke, and I just dive in front of him like a fool. He's definitely using the run game to his advantage. Uh, fourth and nine. He decides to go for it, and oh, wow! It, my linebacker, uh, my cornerback, gave me no reaction at all. That pass should have been at least knocked down for a turnover on downs, but. It wasn't, and it turns out he ends up scoring a touchdown. So 7-7, seven to seven, we get the huge play right there to number 18. I should have the named rosters in a few videos all over the top. We get the user user catch, I think it was, but maybe I'm wrong. And uh, he goes offsides, but it doesn't matter. We're able to score the touchdown. Giving us a 7-point lead with 3 minutes to go until halftime. We pick up a big sack for us in a 3rd and 21. Can my opponent come through? He goes over the top one time. <sighs> that hurts. We sent the house on a blitz, gambling, but uh, he came through and he throws an 87-yard touchdown right over our heads. And, uh, <sighs> we throw another interception. By interceptions I've thrown, have been bad ones. Uh, I forced him. I had a wide open over the middle of the field. And look at this. This time we see our target over the middle of the field. And we hit him with for a 30-yard pass. Well, now we're just moving our way down the field. We have to score. We can't go down uh, into halftime. And we're doing a good job of just moving the ball down the field with precision and efficiency. So, yeah, we're just looking, looking. He's only rushing one guy. So we just stand in the pocket. Then we just scramble with our quarterback, pick up a four-yard gain. That's better than taking a sack or an incomplete pass. And then we throw an absolute dot right there. I'm not sure how that got in there, but... We'll take it, and we tie the game up. 50 seconds left before halftime, and he was running the same play this entire game. Entire game is running the same thing. So we try to, oh look at that, we had that U covered, and then uh, CPU comes in and snags that ball right out of the air, and now we have a chance to at least get a field goal before halftime, and we throw another interception. Again, it was another forced pass. Uh, that's going to be the, the uh, lesson of this game. Don't force passes. See that? Look at that. He gets a huge diving catch from his running back off the wheel route. And uh, he's back to running the ball. You see that? Two seconds left. He calls a timeout. Goes for the field goal. And he misses. So we're thankful he missed that field goal because we go into the game, uh, go into the halftime, tied, and we get the ball to start the half. Well, so we're definitely in position here to take control of this game. You see, now we're starting to make our good reads. Going to what's open, not trying to take any chances down the field. And we're definitely trying to get our running game back involved. I'm not sure how effective we're going to be with that because my opponent was very good at uh, stopping the run. But thankfully, our quarterback has some speed. We're able to scramble to the outside. And you see that? We'll go over the top to number five, and we get the touchdown on the four verticals, giving us a... Eight, a seven point lead, I apologize. A seven point lead. And we're feeling good. Um, our defense has been able to come up with some key turnovers. I feel like I've I've caused those turnovers. It's not like uh, 
I forced those passes, or he forced passes into tight coverage. I got two user picks, so I'm confident my defense is able to come back with a stop. But um, he's moving away down the field. Look at this. He has a touchdown, but his oh, his running back drops it in the end zone. See, he was running the same play. We get some pressure on him. Third and 19. Big play right here. And we drop an interception. Set up a fourth and 19. He decides to go for it. He has no faith in his kicker. He goes to the same play, and I get no reaction this time for my strong safety. Able, letting him get into the end zone. Oh, that hurt. But uh, first and goal, we're able to get a sack. Lost three yards, taking him outside of the 10-yard line. And we take, get another sack. Oh, man, that's back-to-back -back sacks. He is at his 25-yard line, and somehow this is my defense is giving up the big plays in this one. Definitely hurts to uh, allow a third and 25 for a touchdown. But hey, it's, it's what I did. As you see here, we tried to go up over the top one time, 18. No. Swatted down fourth and 10. I'm frustrated that he got that much luck. But he's only rushing one. And look at that move right there by RB. He completely broke off his defender. Jolted upfield. Huge 38 yard catch on fourth down. And you see here. We're looking. We had Y across the field, but we decided not to throw, and we eat a sack. A good cover sack, my opponent. And look at that. Oh, we fit a tight ball in there. Thought that was going to be intercepted, going back the other way for six, but instead it's a touchdown for us. And now my opponent, he has to come down the field to try and score a touchdown because uh, I bet you he's feeling that if he doesn't score a touchdown this drive, the game is over with the way my offense has been moving down the field. Definitely going to be able to eat up the rest of the clock if uh, if he doesn't score a touchdown here. And he throws. He uses that precision pass to his advantage right there. Oh, man. We're in a tough spot right here. And he's able to get into the end zone on the, what is that, the uh, halfback off tackle. But, as you see here, I accidentally threw it to RB there. I meant to throw it to Y. He was wide open over the middle of the field. And uh, I accidentally went to RB instead. But, as you see here, we're already in field goal range we just get down we're gonna try and waste as much time as we can try and kick the game winning field goal he does not have he only has one timeout left so if we can just waste as much time as possible and just kick the game winning field goal we'll be completely happy with that as you see here he's uh he was only rushing one guy once again and he finally uses his timeout but now we're in prime position he's only rushing one guy so we just move around the pocket waste him as much time as we can we're going to be gladly just to take a sack here and kick our field goal 22 seconds left we kick the field goal and we take the lead my opponent has 19 seconds left to get into field goal range and ncaa that's totally possible with no timeouts Ooh, first down he almost caught that one but we swat that away and second down we get a huge hit right there from our defensive end now third and ten, he goes over the top one time, and it's dropped. That was close. Last play of the game, guys, we get a sack, and a good game to my opponent, we take a knee. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, as always, thank you for watching.